one characteristic of uh, our culture, I think, is uh, what I would call psychophobia. We're psychophobic. We're, we're frightened of our own minds, of our own psyches. There is no book going around that is, uh, seems to me, more explicit about uh, this in its own way than uh, DSM-3, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association, third edition, which is, uh, calls itself a, a, a compendium of criteria of mental disorder that lists any unusual perceptual experience is a criteria of mental disorder. Any unusual perceptual experience, sixth sense, clairvoyance, telepathy, uh, others can feel my feelings. I feel the presence of a dead, or a force of presence of a dead person in the room with uh, me who's not there. You're allowed to do that for three weeks after your mother dies. After that, it is uh, <laughs> criteria of uh, mental disorder. But what is, seems to there, be proposed is a, is a massive hom a project of homogenizing experience. We're all experiencing the same thing at the same time. No one's going to be allowed to experience anything differently, different from anyone else. Uh, you're not allowed to see the sky uh, as grey if other people see it as blue. That is a perceptual change that is a criteria of disorder. Uh, all over the world, for uh, all types of places, uh, these um, uh, criteria for mental disorder, as far as I can see, have been the ordinary expressions of ordinary human heart and soul. So we are in the process of, I think, under the name of cultivating health, well, uh, we're in the process of culturing it out. We have the power, the political power, to regard any unusual perceptual experience as uh, combined with one or two other criteria which are not difficult to find, uh, as a uh, token of, uh, for stripping a person of all their civil rights and liberties, virtually, and uh, putting them entirely at the uh, mercy of what we feel is a good thing for us to do for them, uh, for them to behave in the way that we want them to behave, whether they want to or not. I, I, I think this is an insufferable uh, uh, gap in the, you might say, ordinary human uh, uh, rights operating at the very heart of our self-styled free society. Right. A slave is said to be a man who cannot voice his thoughts. Someone coming within range of us right. ought to, uh, I would say, be very careful what they say right. to us. Just depends on how we're going to take it, how we're going to regard it. Right. Uh, any unusual perceptual experience magical thinking, clairvoyance, telepathy, all listed as criteria, collecting garbage, hoarding food, inadequate uh, uh, grooming, uh, and then what it really amounts to is talking too much or too little or out of turn or moving too much or moving too little, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's what the politics of experience is all about. Uh, the, the, uh, this is a control over the way people, our style of actually perceiving the world. Even though we're not breaking the law in, in any way in, in terms of the way we actually conduct ourselves, there's not, nothing criminal about our behavior. Our state of mind is regarded as uh, undesirable and should be put a stop to. I gave a lecture uh, a few years ago at the Berkholtz Hospital, which was the uh, 